Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. Today I would like to share with you guys Draven Ezreal. I've been having a ton of fun playing this deck. Uh, we haven't seen it really since like the earlier days in beta, maybe a little bit coming into its full release. But this is a super fun deck and we haven't seen it for a while because it's kind of got pushed out by some other archetypes. But at the moment, I'm finding it quite successful. I'm about 70% win rate out of a few games. And some of the matchup spreads are working out pretty well for us. Like we're finding success against some of the Noxus aggro decks as well as some of the general aggro decks. Uh, we're doing pretty well against mid-range decks as well. And we beat up on Heimendinger, so that was really good. Uh, we do struggle against some of the Shadow Isle variants, but hopefully we don't see too many of them. But for now, decks super good, uh, very rewarding, very hard to pilot. So, you know, I don't recommend starting off your journey in Runeterra trying to grind out ladder with this, but maybe when you get to a certain point, you want to start slowing down your strategy. Uh, Draven Ezreal can be very powerful and you can kind of like win games without necessarily leveling up Ezreal. But we'll talk more about that and the Mulligan, etc. as we jump over and have a look at the cards and talk about why they're here, what they shall be doing. I just want to say special, special uh, thank you for all the support you guys have given me on the channel as of recently. I uh, just want to say uh, thanks for all the likes, etc. And you guys are awesome. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you soon. Beautiful picture right here of Draven, right? So the deck specifically Ezreal Draven does still revolve around Ezreal itself and the ability to have the ultimate win condition through Ezreal being leveled up allowing you to like kind of spam your spells and burn your opponent's face but this deck's kind of unique because you can play many different ways which makes it kind of like one of the more intricate decks to pilot so I guess we're going to have to kind of go into detail with this so you guys can understand uh, what angles I'm coming from first of all I would say that uh, some games aren't going to come down to Ezreal being your win condition Hence why this is very kind of like an aggressive deck in a sense where you can win through purely burning your opponent and like playing cards like Draven House Spider and curving out a little bit here and there. Even though we have a lack of units, you can still find that you can have some extreme board presence through the mixture of removing your opponent's stuff while playing your stuff. So this deck kind of does need you to get some chip damage and it does it pretty well because sometimes you can just win the game without even Ezreal being a factor at all. Oh, so House Spider is an extremely good two drop at the moment. It finds a lot of value and a lot of matchups, especially when it's we're coming into this very aggressive kind of meta. So House Spider is a really great fit at the moment. Going wide is working out quite effectively. Uh, Arachnoid Sentry, very good, slows down the opponent, but finds the most value played alongside Ravenous Flock, and having them both in the same deck just works really well. Having just those two cards in particular is not enough to justify running cards like Sentry, but when you're kind of like a semi stole deck, semi uh, burn deck, and you have a lot of tools that allow you to actually chip your opponent's minions, then the Ravenous Flock becomes almost a great include, and then you can also argue running Sentry at that point. So Sentry, very good fit. It also counts as a level up towards Ezreal, so don't forget about that. Ezreal just states when you target your opponent's minions, okay? Next up on the list is Chump Womp. I think I've seen this, said this many times in the past, but Chump Womp is pretty much a good auto-include in an Ezreal-style deck. The ability to use the mushrooms for burst damage or discard photos powerful. We do run uh, two copies of Rummage, and we do run a full package of get excited obviously for burn and just for a lot of removal it's a very strong card uh, some of the more unique cards that you'll find in this list in particular would be noxian guillotine and culling strike great fits at the moment culling strike superb for dealing with heimerdinger and just dealing with early game boards great against crimson disciple which is a very popular card at the moment you can really abuse your opponent and oftentimes quick tip uh, if you're going even, uh, so you're playing on the second turn against aggro, passing is always really good. If you have three mana backed up, they might play Disciple and you can culling strike it. Very good. Uh, Thermo Beam, Mystic Shot, these are kind of auto-includes in Ezreal, and it auto-includes in most PNZ decks. Uh, Mystic Shot to deal two on the fast speed, very powerful. It can also go face, it's flexible. Thermo Beam, very flexible, but one of the more intricate cards to use and timing is kind of important, and the way you play your hands out to utilize the best mana efficiency. Sometimes you'll find you just have to play a Thermo Beam at a high mana cost, but if you can kind of arrange your turn in a certain way, you can abuse Thermo Beam and really punish your opponent. Another interesting card, Noxian Guillotine, as we said, very cool. The ability to kind of chip your opponent's minions with the cards like Static Shock, sometimes Mystic Shot. You can really set up for some nice Noxian Guillotines and level up Ezreal kind of quickly. And so two Static Shocks, really good card. I think it's just kind of like almost an auto include. Uh, it really comes down to the amount that you use. So in this list in particular with Ezreal, we'll use two. Almost becomes an auto-include. Three is a bit too much for a card like this, similar to Salvage in some lists. Uh, running three of them, kind of like if you draw into multiples of them at a time, it feels kind of bad. 
Plus, we have two copies of Progress Day to refill the hand against slower matchups. It's very, very punishing. Now, one of the quick tips I will say for the Mulligan is usually if in certain matchups, if I ever see Sentry and Ravenous Flock in the same hand, I think it's an auto keep a lot of the time in a lot of matchups. Uh, Draven is usually a good keep all around because as I said, we don't really have much productive plays. However, against let's say Agro, for example, you definitely will, will want to look for your Thema Beam, like Mystic Shocks, Culling Strike. These are kind of good keeps. If your hand is kind of like, let's say we've got a bit of like a like a Draven, Culling Strike, a Ravenous Flock and a Thema Beam, that's like kind of like the, the ideal mixture of cards you'd want to look for on the opening hand. Thema Beam almost becomes a great keep in most matchups against maybe some of the control decks where, by the way, one of our more poor matchups at the moment is going against Shadow Isles. So usually that's kind of like a throwaway game but against them you actually want to look for your units so you can actually develop some sort of productive plays and chip down your opponent but outside of that like house spider is almost a great keep in every matchup uh sentry i wouldn't keep unless i had ravenous flock and ravenous flock i would not keep usually unless i had uh arachnoid sentry in the end i think you're better off looking for cards like, like mystic shot get excited uh calling a strike if you're looking to actually clear your opponent's units uh, against control specifically against like ionia and stuff like that you can kind of still have that mentality like versing an aggro deck where you just want to look for your early game units so we just want to look for house spider we want to keep cards that are like thermo beam most of the time like maybe even mystic shot depending on specifically what we're versing i'd argue against aggro decks it's pretty much always auto keep right uh, Noxie and Guillotine is never usually a keep in any matchup, so you can always kick that safely. Static Shock is usually a pretty good kick. I don't see that being too useful. Unless, like, we're versing a deck where specifically they go wide, which you could argue against aggro, but not really. They kind of play, like, beef minions as they progress. Uh, progress Day, I don't think you'd ever keep a card like that. Most definitely not. And Rummage, I oftentimes would kick that. I don't see that being ever really a keep one of the kind of rules of thumb when it comes to card draw cards is like unless you know for sure you're versing a super slow deck where card draw you need to draw specific cards in your deck which you could argue but most of the time you're better off just having the mindset that why would i keep the card draw when i can just keep the like have look for the cards that i need to look for anyway and then usually drawing into rummage later is where you really want to find it after you've like leveled Ezreal or closer towards it or after you've played cards like Chump Womp or Draven where you have like those kind of removals. So just to summarize all that in a bit quicker, keep cards like Draven, keep cards like House Spider, keep combinations of cards that look good for a curve like Thermo Beam, Mystic Shot, Culling Strike. Culling Strike might arguably play, be more of a personal flavor I go for when I mulligan, especially against aggro, but a lot, you might not consider keeping that most of the time. Against Heimerdinger, you might argue it's pretty good too. By having a pretty short sure way of threatening the Heimerdinger. But in hindsight, maybe kick the Culling Strike most of the time. Against aggro, keep it though. For sure, against like, you know, Noxian aggro decks, decks with Crimson Disciple, I like keeping it. It's the best way to deal with um, turn two. Uh, Crimson Disciple if you float mana. So there you have it, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this intro. Thanks again for all the support. I'll be seeing you soon. Enjoy the games here. I just want to say, I shaved in the footage, I have a beard, it looks a bit weird, it freaks me out a bit, but anyway, you guys have a fantastic day, good luck on ladder. It's probably a quite an important mulligan. It's probably just a full mulligan, looking for like house spider, maybe draven too. House spider. I hate Brahma mode, so cheeky. Yeah, you could say that. It's How many um, chomp bombs do we have? Three. Yeah, this is my first time seeing it. Watch and learn. I'm happy to swing here. How many cards is that in hand? Four, six, nine. We're good. A 
Let's go. I won't believe just what... You won't believe what just happened. Probably not. I don't in Dusk Mahamidiga. That's toxic, bro. I'm happy with this, I think. Okay, we got lots of activators for Ezreal, that's for sure. Let's actually just do this. This is this pretty aggressive? This is hella aggressive, but it could work. It could also force out some more removal. I can also whirling death on top of his get excited or will. Is this worth? I don't see why not. It also counts as a targetable ability and I am guaranteeing clearing by. It also levels up my Draven if I'm not mistaken. Which is honestly pretty crazy. By the time I replay that, I'm gonna get so many spinning axes. Oh my goodness gracious. Right, let's get it. We should always develop here though. Plenty of axes. Got some major refill too. Okay. We should always just do this. We shouldn't attack with the spiders, I don't think. Maybe this is GG. It's looking really good. I should demo beam this, right? This is a crazy cool deck. I might just be able to kill him before Ezreal comes online. We could be looking at a different way to play this game. Did you make the deck? No, this is a pretty old concept from back in the day. Very, very old concept. Oh. Is he not going to play a card to buff his Vi? This is kind of sad. But fair enough. We don't have to do anything too crazy here. I'm actually convinced I should play Ezreal here. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Don't think I need to use my resources just yet. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked with the spiders. Shouldn't attack with the spiders because of spirits refuge. So we don't need to level up Ezreal. I just need to hit his face. That's all.
See if he denies this. Let's put mushrooms into his deck. Then we'll mystic shot his face. Hang on. I don't exactly have tons of removal. Damage sources. I think we'll chill for now. You did draw one. Oh, he drew some more. I could have possible lethals. Let's try the uh, Ravenous Flock, see how he responds to that. I would love to see him deny this. Okay, so I can counter this with the Static Shock. Is Static Shock the most reasonable play here? Actually, to be safe, because of that, the amount of healing here, I think I have to Noxie and Guillotine. Just in case he has uh, Twin Disciplines, which is very likely that he could. So this is a very heads up play I'm making. Very, very heads up play. for now. I could definitely get him on the open attack. <laughs> One shot, all skill. Like how much resources do you actually want to put into removing these spiders? I guess a little bit of resources, right? We still connect with one. How would you feel having to will that? That sucks, man. Okay, this should like guarantee lethal or clearing his Heimerdinger, so it is great. So he denies this and then I just like mystic shot his face and it's a GG. Wow, incredible deck, man. So hard to pilot though. I love taking games off Heimendinger. Ah, oh, it really makes my day. GG, thank you, Arcanus. So this is kind of strange, we're basing a Teemo burn. Aggro burn, like, in a sense, we can find a decent curve and maybe have a shot against him. Cards like Ezreal can be played on curve as well, but I should kick the bucket hard mulligan for the one drops. Sorry, the house spider. We don't have one drops. Like Keep the thermo beam, clears the team over time. Easy. Should Culling Strike this? Should always kill him, even if he transfusions. Mystic shot that. Pretty cookie cutter stuff, really. I'm just trying to keep his board on, under control. I need, like, something okay to play here. Let's just pass for now. I don't think we need to be the first person to play cards here. 
He does. Okay. Probably should have rummaged the mystic shot there. We'll see how we go. So he probably develops here, right? No one's the wiser. Let's stop that from attacking. Now ordering's gonna matter here. Clear that. So transfusion onto the spider here. I gotta hope that he has no Noxian fervor. That's pretty much it. Nice. No Noxian. That's huge. No Noxian fervor. Done with my shift? Congratulations. Do that. It's a bit of a race now, isn't it? See if he goes for the uh, Noxian Fervor here. Apparently not. What's the line here? This is a very important turn, whether I, I rummage for two. Knowing that he has no Decimate in hand. Or if I just rummage for one. Made in 91. Hello there. How are you going? Oh, this is massive for us. Think as long as he can't, yeah, this is fine. The progress they most of the time will get us there. Okay, we have 12 mana, right? Shit. 
Well, hang on. Okay, I guess I can't beat Noxian further. Let's see how we go. We still win. GG, holy shit, that was close. I'm good. I need someone who are better than me looking at deck I made. If anyone would help, I would appreciate it. Sure thing, send me deck code, no problem. Happy to do that. You made it towards the end of the video. Thank you so much. That means the world to me that you make it this far. I just want to say, look, if you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing. If you could leave a like, that would be super appreciated as well. It makes a huge difference to the performance of the video. I make these videos for you guys. It takes me a bit of time. I'm trying to make them very high quality. So it makes a huge difference to my day, our day, and then we can work together. I also just want to add, I am streaming over on Twitch, just like the old kind of plug myself in. Look guys, I stream four to five days. I take Wednesdays and Thursdays off. I stream at about 4 p.m. ADDT time zone. Might be late for a fair bit of you guys, but look, if you ever get a chance, come jump in, say hello, ask me questions about anything, whether it be Rune Terror or YouTube related. I'm here for you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. I just want to say a special shout out, shout out, sorry, to uh, Viserys for the uh, end screen. Peace later, dude.